Hello and welcome to episode three of RFID Made Simple. Today I'll be addressing what type of data can be encoded into an RFID tag. There are three main categories to understand when looking into the data of an RFID tag. That's binary data, hexadecimal data, and ASCII data. In short, and without getting too technical, binary data is a numerical system consisting of only ones and zeros. This is the only type of system understood and executed by computers, or in this case, RFID chips. These ones and zeros are referred to as bits, and, but in order for us humans to understand these long strings of ones and zeros, we convert those strings or bits into hexadecimal characters. Hexadecimal characters include 16 alphanumeric characters, zero to nine, capital A through F. The reason only these 16 characters are used is due to the limited amount of binary combinations of zeros and ones. So for example, the binary string 0001 is equal to the hexadecimal character 1, whereas the binary string of 1111 is equal to the hexadecimal character F. So as an RFID user, you're probably wondering, so how can I program special characters to my RFID tag? That's where ASCII characters come into play. Similar to how we convert binary strings to hexadecimal characters, hex characters can also be converted to ASCII characters. Here's a table known as the ASCII conversion table, which allows us to understand how we can program hexadecimal characters as ASCII or other special characters. For an example, if we want to program into our RFID tag the capital letter S, we would program the hexadecimal characters 53 or 53. And then when the tag is read, the software can then interpret those hexadecimal characters as ASCII characters, outputting the letter S. Thanks for joining me on this week's episode of RFID Made Simple. Remember to comment below on what other RFID concepts you want.